We have 5,000 metres of RC drilling. It's our phase one drilling for um, commencing at Hastie's in, in, in about two weeks' time. And uh, we're really looking forward to hitting the ground hard there. Well, hello and welcome to Assay TV. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Rincon Resources, and we have their CEO, Gary Harvey, with us today uh, from Perth. Gary, good to see you today. Um, start things off, Rincon Resources, your relatively new company, are uh, listed on the ASX uh, in December 2020. Can you give us a little bit of uh, sort of background to the company and uh, the, the team behind Rincon? Yeah, surely. Uh, thanks for the introduction. Um, yeah, Rincon is a new gold and base metals, uh, mainly copper exploration company. We're uh, West Australian uh, focused. We listed in December 2020, and we have three uh, key projects uh, in the um, South Telfer area in the Patterson province, um, Laverton Gold region, and also the West Arunta region. Um, we have an exciting IOCG um, project there. Uh, company has uh, um, got about uh, 51 million shares on issue. 67% mm -hmm. um, of those shares are held by retail investors. The rest is board and management and minor institutions. And um, we've got about $5 million in the tin, and we're looking to um, spend that um, reasonably quickly by hitting the ground running this year. Absolutely. And as you mentioned, you've got three projects there in, in WA. Um, your, your major project in the South Telfer uh, region, uh, a gold and copper project. Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you've got there and, and what you're planning for your upcoming uh, drill campaign. Sure. So South Telfer is, um, it is our key project. There's an existing uh, zone of mineralisation at Hasties amongst our tenements. We have... Um, 514 square kilometres of tenure uh, in the Patterson province and directly south in a long strike from the 32 million ounce um, Telford gold mine. Uh, so our, the Hastings prospect, prospects themselves uh, are only 12 kilometres south of Telford. Um, it's similar stratigraphy. And uh, we also have another package of ground which is directly along strike, about 30, 40 k's along strike to the southeast of Telford. That's our western trend. And uh, both are, are pretty exciting areas for us and um, in a very exciting region. And uh, we have 5,000 metres of RC drilling. It's a phase one drilling for um, commencing at Hasties in, in, in about two weeks' time. And uh, we're really looking forward to hitting the ground hard there. Mm, absolutely. And there's been some historic drilling uh, on the Hasties uh, targets. Uh, tell us, wh wh I mean, when was, that, when was that done and what did they find? Yes, yeah, so look, Newcrest uh, um, originally had this ground, um, you know, well over a decade ago. Um, the ground's actually been held by a prospector for the last 10 years and, and no work's been done on that ground since. Um, prior to that, Newcrest um, uh, did some drilling at Hasties. Uh, Newcrest uh, at the time, they're, they're looking for, a, um, you know, another Telfer uh, size deposit, so, you know, tens of millions of ounces or at least... Um, you know, somewhere near that. And um, obviously, they, uh, Hasties um, didn't have that kind of potential. Um, but that's not to say that there's not two, three, maybe four million ounces, um, which we hope to find um, following up um, some of the old results there. So, um, just to give you an idea, I guess, of the potential, um, Hasties is defined at the moment by an outcropping Gossen. Um, it is mineralized um, effectively from surface. Some of the new crest drilling in the past um, hit up to um, 57.8 metres, two grams per tonne gold, um, and um, 16 at 4.75, and 68 metres at 1.33. I mean, that all starts effectively from surface. At the moment, that zone of mineralisation that new crest defined, um, it, it goes from surface down to about 100 metres, and then basically it's a bit of a dead zone underneath, which has been poorly tested. Um, we've re-looked at that data and uh, if there's a southeast plunging component to that, which has not been tested by Newcrest. So our first phase of drilling, our 5,000 metres, we're looking to get in and drill amongst the original drilling and try to uh, verify that data and, um, and collect our own data so that we've got a bit more confidence in what's been done. Um, obviously, this is all leading to uh, underpinning 
um, uh, resource estimation in due course. That'll take a bit of time, obviously, but uh, that's our aim. We believe there is a resource there already, and, and we just got to put the confidence around it to be able to report that um, compliantly. Mm, and absolutely. And, and you've also got this the Western Trend. Um, yep. So most of the early drilling is going to be focused on Hasties, but Western Trend, you're also doing some doing some work over there in terms of sort of geophysics, I think, <clears> yeah? Yeah, look, Western Trend's probably a little bit behind in, in terms of uh, what's happened in the past. Um, Newcrest chased the, uh, the Telfer Trend a long strike, which goes straight in through the Western Trend. There's uh, um, fairly wide-spaced air core drilling over a strike of five kilometres. And, and there's a, a gold anomaly uh, or anomalous gold trend through that drilling uh, defined by 0.1 grams per tonne gold and above. Um, but there's been no follow-up. There was one intersection in there, which was eight metres at uh, 3.85 grams per tonne, uh, and, no, and no further work beyond that. So our work to date, We've flown a, uh, a VTEM, a geophys airborne geophysical survey, over the top of that. Uh, and we're also about to commence some uh, fairly wide, broad space soil, ultra fine fraction soil sampling. Um, now, the data from that, in conjunction with our interpretation of geophysics, we'll look to define um, a suite of targets in that Western trend area. And, and those targets will um, we'll obviously come up with a plan to, to drill those targets we hope, uh, by the end of this year um, and going into next year. Mm. So when do you hope to have the drill bits uh, turning at Hasties? The drill bit will be turning at Hasties within two weeks. That's confirmed. We start, uh, or have been notified by the drillers that it's the 14th of July commencement, so um, I'm going to hold them to that. Um, we've worked very hard to get that uh, uh, drilling contractor in and, and to get that date. Um, we, we think we're ahead of schedule. Um, in that respects, and um, we're already planning on a phase two drilling, which will be uh, a much more significant campaign, which will involve some deeper diamond drilling below Hastings. Mm -hmm. um, some of the some of the geophysical work we're doing at the moment has uh, already identified some targets at depth um, below Hastings, um, which would require deeper drilling and and over a much broader area. So um, we've tentatively schedule that to start around September and we've already got um, a couple of diamond rings lined up and uh, we're just going through the process of um, you know, reviewing the quotations for that, that work that we believe we can effectively commence our phase two drilling um, directly on the back of our phase one drilling. Excellent. Um, and at the uh, Laverton uh, project, uh, you, it's, it's in a very sort of, you know, well-established uh, region for uh, gold uh, exploration and, and production. Uh, what have you got down there? Yeah, look, Laverton, we've got um, we've got a couple of tenements. There's one significant one, which is sort of wedged between a handful of uh, existing deposits. And there's a smaller one just to the south of that. Now, Laverton, um, as you know, is, is a very well-endowed district. It's, it's produced over 25 million ounces of gold, um, most, most notably from the, uh, the Granny Smith and Wallaby gold mines, Sunrise Dam, which is a bit further south of our project, project um, and also the Mount Morgan's um, uh, gold operation to the, to the west of us. Um, our, our particular piece of ground um, um, sits along um, a banded iron formation unit, which is part of the Mount Murren, uh, Margaret Murren Greenstone Belt. Um, directly along strike from that, we've got uh, the gladiator deposits, um, a suite of um, uh, the shallow oxide deposits there associated with the banded iron formation. Um, and we've got the extension of that banded iron formation running through our ground over a strike of about six kilometres. Mm. And recently in uh, May, we completed um, 6,400 metres of, of air core drilling. And we have the results. We're, we're just going through a QAQC on that result, those results at the moment. And we should be releasing that data um, to the market in the next week or so. Right. Okay. So, not much more you can say about that, I guess. But um, results no. on the way. <laughs> yeah. Look, we're hopeful that um, you know we can get a um, uh, some positive targets that have come out of that uh, that air core drilling. Um, we've also commissioned um, a very good geologist to do some photogeological mapping for us, um, and so those results combine with some additional targets that we'll get from this mapping. Um, we'll look to 
plan a, a phase two um, campaign um, in the near future. Mm. And tell us a little bit about uh, Kiwi Kura. That's a sort of earlier stage um, in the West Arunta origin, the central Australian Sutra. 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 Yeah, yeah. Look, Kiwi Kura is a, a pretty. I think it's a, a pretty exciting project. I mean, it's it's IACG, which is quite new to me um, from a geological perspective. I've mainly worked in gold and, and nickel, but um, mm. IACG obviously excites me. I mean, these things can be gigantic deposits. Um, and, and with lots of copper. And that's what we're looking for. We've got a, a, a decent parcel of ground. We've um, uh, got currently existing, we've got uh, 126Ks of square Ks. We've now amped that up to just under 200 square kilometres. We've just applied for some new applications. Um, so we're building a presence. It's a relatively uh, underexplored uh, area in the West Arunta region. And um, as, as you mentioned, we've, we've got our tenement covers um, about 100 kilometres of strike along the, the, the central Australian suture. And, um, and, and, and our, our existing prospect we have there at Bacali, um, our director, Zeph Reeves, um, drilled the original holes there back in the uh, mid-2000s and um, some quite significant intersections of copper uh, were, were returned from that drilling. Um, an example of that is uh, 32 metres of 0.46% copper, 64 metres of 0.4% copper, 46 metres of 0.37% copper, um, all relatively shallow. And really, we believe that that drilling, um, despite obviously intersecting some very good uh, copper zones, um, is actually on the edge of something that hasn't been truly tested yet. So at the moment, what we've been doing is, is recollating and reprocessing a lot of the old geophysical data. Um, our consultants' uh, resource potentials are doing an excellent job of that. And uh, they're, they're actually getting me excited because when they present to me what they're doing, um, if they're excited, I get excited. So I'm actually looking forward to getting out there and doing some work. Um, for us to get foot on the ground, though, we've got to complete a heritage um, survey, uh, an agreement and a survey uh, to set foot in the ground. So... Um, Despite the, the eagerness to get out and drill, it's probably something we're looking to commence around March next year. Um, so in the meantime, we're, we're just building up that, um, that base of information um, with our consultants, and uh, which also included some geological mapping. But um, yeah, look, Bacali uh, and the Kirikara project are um, yeah, really something to look forward to for us. Mm, absolutely. But for now, focusing on South Tav Telfer and uh, Laverton. Correct. Um, and in terms of your, your funding for this, you mentioned earlier that you, you, you're cash in the bank. Uh, how, how's that looking in terms of funding the exploration programs you've got planned? Yeah, look, at the moment, um, our current, our current uh, plan is, is uh, uh, fully funded. We've got $5 million in the bank. Um, we expect that to take us through to first, second quarter of next year. Now, um, really all subject to success, uh, the upcoming RC drilling at... Um, South Telfer, of course, if that's um, as successful or more successful than we uh, uh, planned, then uh, we might will obviously ramp up that exploration activity and, and um, likely to hit the market a bit earlier for extra money um, to fund our subsequent programs. So um, I think South Telfer being successful will probably be drilling there continuously for the rest of the year. Absolutely. Well, um, lots of interesting uh, activity ahead there and lots of uh, interesting results to look out for for, for investors. Um, but thank you very much uh, for joining us today, Gary, and telling us about Rincon Resources. Thank you, Leo. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks.